Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Aaron Dawson. I am the DevRel Communications Manager here at Oracle, and I'm speaking with my colleague Wilson Randall today, who's a solutions engineer on the Code Innovate team. We're talking today about Code Innovates. Maybe you have seen our previous conversation. Uh, I'm told it's a huge hit which is weird because we uh, filmed it a couple minutes ago and it's probably not even published, but uh, I don't make the rules. Uh, so so in our previous video, we talked about what Code Innovate is. In this session, we just want to dive a little deeper and talk about the, the customer journey. Customer, even though there's, as we covered, really no financial transaction to speak of, um, for someone who's coming to Code Innovate, asking for help and resources to solve a challenge that they're they're facing. So in this video, we want to talk about what that customer journey looks like from end to end, timing this kind of thing. So Wilson, I'll just turn it over to you. Also, hi, how's it going? How are you? Good. Good to see you again, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> you too. So, so as I was saying, like, what does that customer journey start with? If let's just start there, start at the beginning, mm -hmm. right? So where, sure. where do we start? Sure, sure. So for a lot of these code innovate events, when I think of what does it look like from end to end, what's the start point? What's the end point? What does it look like in the middle? So with customers, you know, it might start with something as simple as a need. A business need. We want to do X, Y, and Z in our business. How do we do it? And that's okay. You know, in some cases, we are able to say, okay, let's take a look at this. Let's unpack this. Let's see where Oracle Cloud can come in and help with this need. And then once you know we have a need figured out or uh, identified, we might say, okay, we might have a, a, B, and C solutions that can be applied to help this business need. Um, so that's one way. Another way is customer already has a use case or already has uh, a project or something figured out. They've, they've got, you know, uh, kind of use case coverage already identified. They've already got the different components, maybe some different cloud services that they have identified. Um, maybe they just need some help getting started, getting kickstarted in the cloud, getting kickstarted with some enablement and, um, and some use case development. So that's where we come in. Uh, so with either one of those, what it looks like from where we take it from there. So again, once we have a need and, and a use case identified, um, there are some you know, prerequisites and, and expectations when it comes to the program itself. Um, and we can get into those now or or I'll I'll stop there. No, your your voice is so sweet. I'm on the edge of my seat. Keep going. <laughs> So there Alrighty. are two ways to start, as you said. They've, to be clear, emailed the Code Innovate team or otherwise gotten in touch with you. So that's like step zero, right? And then maybe they have a mm -hmm. use case that you're agreeing on that that seems like a good fit for Code Innovate. And then, yes, I will turn it back to you. Where do we go from there? Sure. So there are a few prerequisites and, and expectations um, that we have from the customer client side, just to make sure that we're crossing all our T's and dotting all our I's. And those are, so we have a requirement for about two or four or more developers or engineers that you would bring to the table. And we just found this to be kind of the, the minimum that it takes to, and we've had you know most success with Code Innovates with, uh, with this as the minimum, can always bring more. So in Zoom and in um, you know in online meetings, there's a breakout room function where we can break out to different teams that might tackle different use cases in parallel. So that is one option, but uh, two to four developers minimum. Five half day time commitment, um, as we've talked about before, but uh, we ask for four hours a day for five days, Monday through Friday. And that's in order to you know keep us engaged, keep us um, hands on keyboard, get some good development time in there. But at the same time, allows you to you know take half of your hours for the day for your your daily activities and your daily tasks. Just so we're not you know taking the whole day there. Um, 
we bring your use case to the table. So this isn't something where we say, okay, we're going to build this use case and we have this already figured out and you're going to go through step one, two, and three. No, it's, it's not like that. It's something where you bring your idea, you bring your use case for something that you want to see built out in your environment. Um, so it's very customer focused, very client focused in that way. Right. Um, additionally, also wanted to mention that there are some components or there are some, uh, there, there's what we call structured learning, which is also part of the Code Innovate program, but more kind of like the pre-work and, and prerequisite work as well. So this is making sure that the engineers or developers who will be part of the Code Innovate program have a baseline understanding of what they'll be working with or what they'll be um, actually touching in the Oracle Cloud. So as part of this, we might provide some online workshops that are provided by Oracle um, that go into those particular cloud services or those particular areas. We might have a demo and presentation to show, hey, here's the tool set, here's the uh, platform we'll be using, here's its functionality, and might also have a demo or a, you know, a sample use case shown that has some relation to what we'll actually be building out for the Code Innovate Week itself. And again, that's to give uh, developers and engineers who may be coming in for the first time and, and seeing Oracle Cloud for the first time, that, that baseline understanding. And that's pretty much it as yeah. far as uh, prerequisites and, and kind of expectations from the uh, customer goes. Right. And so those are the kind of like formal or prescriptive prerequisites, but on a kind of soft, soft, skilly kind of kind of a different kind of prerequisite should someone who's approaching code innovate to work with you should they have an oci account should they know what oci is what should their background not not maybe should but what might ought their background be with not with oracle at large but but with our cloud offering yeah that's that's a good question and the answer is we can cover anybody on any range of spectrum in terms of familiarity with OCI or with Oracle Cloud. So if you're a first-time customer, don't have an OCI account, um, we can get you set up with a new OCI account, or in some cases, we can set up a trial OCI account in order to get hands-on and get developing for a Code Innovate. Um, if you're on the other end of the spectrum, you know, a seasoned Oracle Cloud customer with, you know, deep knowledge and, you know, you need a little bit of assistance getting another use case started in the cloud, we can also cover uh, areas in that as well. Most of the time, you know, most of, from personal experience, most of our customers are kind of somewhere in the middle in that. They usually have a, a previous Oracle Cloud account um, and, you know, they're, getting used to it, getting familiarized with it. It might not have deep knowledge or deep domain expertise, but at the same time, uh, they're not uh, just getting started for the first time. So, so far you've walked us from the very beginning stages to basically the end. And I wanna linger there for a little bit. At the end of the project is, you know, a phrase that we in this industry use sometimes is the definition of done, right? So. For Code Innovate, what is the definition of done? How do you know when you are ready to sign your name to the to the painting and walk away? Is it when, you know, the the customer who come who approaches Code Innovate, you meet their challenge or you, you solve their issue, and that's how you know that that seems pretty straightforward to me. Or are there other examples where are there other examples where, you know someone's come to you and said, we have this challenge or we'd like to develop this thing. And in those breakout rooms, in those half days, in their communication with you over time, they see and you see an evolution of what a definition of done is. Has that, does charting that course ever change or is it always, hey, we have this problem. Can you help us? Yes, we will help you congrats, you have a solved problem thing. I, I truly don't know the answer to this. Like, has that, how does that look like? What does that look oh, like? Oh, the, the course almost always changes in terms of yeah. what is done. And uh, 
on on a few layers. So to kind of answer that question, what what does done look like in terms of code innovate? So first step and kind of the first pass done is okay. We've worked with the customer. We've worked with you building out this solution during this this week. Um, we've given our lightning talk presentation. We have our deliverables. We have our first pass prototype done. Okay, code innovate program done. But the engagement doesn't necessarily stop there. Okay. It's not something where, oh, you know, code innovate's done. We just cut you loose. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Have a good time. No. Uh, in some cases, we do stay engaged with the customer and, and make sure, you know, check in and say, hey, is everything okay? Yeah. Um, or they might reach out to us and say, hey, you know, is everything, or we're, we've got, you know, the this issue or, you know, that we can see this improvement coming off of our work last week during Code Innovate. Um, and then on a deeper level, what does done look like from, you know, a solution standpoint or from a customer standpoint? Well, when that workload goes into production, when they actually mm -hmm. start using it, when, you know, you actually use it in a real life situation. So one of the things with Code Innovate is um, during the week of, of development, depending on the scope of use case, it might not be something that's production ready at the end of the week. It's more of a first pass prototype, kind of a, a pilot, making sure that, you know, we get something and it's kind of a jump start to you know, help you or help the customer um, actually you know, build out something and, and get into, into Oracle Cloud. But to actually see a use case go into production, you know, that might be something further down the line, or it might be something where it's ready to go into production at the end of the Code Innovate week. I kind of see that as as the very very end point and and kind of the you know the pure definition of success when it comes to helping out a customer. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Last very last question for me. How large is the Code Innovate team at Oracle? Is it just you in a room with no windows, with your head down, and these breakout rooms, or um, how you know how many folks are you working with? How many how many different folks are helping others? reach reach whatever use case they bring. Right. So that depends on how many participants or how many developers um, the customer would bring to a Code Innovate program. So we usually like to map it to no more than, um, say, four or five or six engineers from the customer to one engineer from Oracle side. Mm -hmm. um, and we just found the most success with kind of smaller groups or smaller breakout rooms because you know, if you have a lot of engineers in, in one room, it's just like one person sharing their screen and, you know, a lot of other people just kind of looking on in the background. So we like to keep that ratio a little bit lower. Um, but depending on, you know, amount of resources that you or, or the customer brings to the table, we'll have resources to kind of cover over that ratio. Amazing. So if, if you, dear viewer, would like to get started working with Wilson, working with the Code Innovate team, there are some things you could do. You could, and this is what, what I would do. You go to developer.oracle.com, you search for Code Innovate, or you just put that in a search engine. If you want to go straight to the absolute URL, that's developer.oracle.com slash community slash code dash innovate. And if, if you like, and I like, I put a .html on there. Uh, Wilson, would you mind reminding us, would you mind reminding us, giving us the email that folks can can use to directly get in touch with you? Sure thing. Right love here. to see it. Okay, cool. So it's just code innovate underscore us underscore group at oracle.com. Actually, very quickly. So this makes me think like, who is this bound to a specific region, you know, I see US in the email address. Um, is that is that who can apply for now? Yeah, so anyone in North America, uh, that's that's specifically our bounds, but we've worked with customers and resources from offshore as well, but uh, mainly for NA based customers, North American based customers. Okay, cool. Thank you for sharing that. Okay, folks, um, thank you for joining us. Wilson, thank you again for your time. 
And uh, again, if you want to get started working with this team, they're doing amazing stuff for real. Um, get in touch with them uh, using that email address. Wilson, nice ch chatting with you. Thank you again. Same to you, Aaron. Thank you. Thanks. Bye, everyone. <laughs>